You know, it would be fun to see what Jackson Hinkle has to say about Brazil. I want to see how he, like, manages to spin this as, like, some sort of deep state conspiracy theory. By the way, Jackson Hinkle is, like, he's, like, 14 years old. He's literally like a little baby. He turned 20 or something like a few months ago, something like that. So basically, I'm, I'm bullying a child here. I'm cyberbullying a child and I'm proud of it. Okay, okay, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's go right in. Jackson Hinkle time. Look at these thumbnails. The truth about Brazil protests. Let's find out. I would out. not be surprised if in part What's this was astroturfed and the United States is using this to secure more deep state pawns within the Lula government because they already have the foreign minister. Deep state pawns within the Lula government. Dude, it's, it's just all the buzzwords coming out there at once. What the fuck does that mean? They need more deep state pawns in the Lula. What is a deep state pawn? You know, the entire thing about like the deep state idea is that there are like unmoving parts that are always there of any government. Like, you know, like um, intelligence agencies like the CIA or whatever that are always there, regardless of who's in power, always doing more or less the same thing. A foreign minister who is appointed by someone, by definition, cannot be a deep state whatever because that's someone who is appointed like by the government of the by the government of the moment he just like uses these random buzzwords that are completely nonsensical who's the former head of the latin american open societies foundation and they probably want more in Lulu that's literally not even true i i want to see and how he rationalizes this that would uh, be used as i know that's not Lula's true head. today was the january 6th for brazil essentially i mean um I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what the motives are. I'm going to be strictly... He doesn't know anything, but he's still talking about it. Trying to report this in, in a factual okay, manner. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I, you know you know what I'm going to title my video, even though I don't know? The truth about Brazil protests. The truth is here, guys. This is the truth. Are you ready for the truth? Let's find out what the truth is from someone who admits it doesn't Because know. at the end of the day, I'm sure most of you guys have seen what took place earlier uh, with the storming of, you know, uh, their... their you know, law, uh, their lawmaking, uh, you know, buildings, uh, congress or uh, governmental buildings, uh, the president's home, Lula's home was uh, taken over. You had all this stuff. I don't going think on. That I'm going to show you guys what happened. It? I'm going to. If that happened, no one talked about it. I have no fucking idea where he got that from. I haven't heard a single fucking thing about that. And I've been looking at this. I mean, keeping up to date with it. All right. Does he mean the presidential palace? Do, do, does he does he think that like the presidential palace is Lula's house? <laughs> He just called, like, the, you know, the, the fucking official executive branch building Lula's house. That is, it's like calling the fucking White House, like, Obama's house or Biden's house or something. That's really funny. That's, I mean, like, he talks, he talks like a 14-year-old. It's how, it's how you know he is one. I'm going to show you what Glenn Greenwald has to say about this, what the press is saying about this. But um, there's, there's a lot happening right it's now. Funny so, how he, uh, he only, he only you... like, like, the only reason why he's not just straight up saying this is like a straight up deep state Lula backed conspiracy is because Glenn Greenwald somehow, after everything, still hasn't yet completely and completely backed to the Brazilian right wing. I'm sure it's coming soon enough. All it'll take is for Lula to say something positive about trans people or something like that. That's the only reason why Jackson Hinkle is still here. Like, even casting any doubt on the possibility that this is a George Soros conspiracy. No, uh, there were claims about. Uh the election in brazil and, and i'm not i don't have any opinions on this i mean i don't know i oh, he doesn't have any opinions on this he doesn't know <laughs> i know I'm, i know nothing about elections in brazil i don't know anything about them so i can't really at least he says it okay at least he says it i appreciate the honesty i appreciate the honesty here i just wish like all the other idiotic commentator streamers would say the same have any sort of an opinion on this uh, but there's a lot of people that were very upset to say the least that lula secured the uh the the victory he, he won the presidency okay so there's a lot of people very upset about this and there's a lot of people who felt as though there was what nefarious people? activity at play what people who idiotic fascist right-wing piece of shit qanon style conspiracy theorists yeah people is a very generous term to describe them in my opinion though okay. and um well, again, I have no idea. I have no idea. It's I, I haven't seen any evidence in either direction. Um, what I can tell you is that... Like, he hasn't seen any evidence of election fraud. That means that both sides must be equally, equally valid, right? Because you would expect, you know, for the thesis that something untoward happened, you would expect there to be some sort of evidence for it that you would see to give you, for you to have to give some credibility to that notion. He doesn't need to see any, though. I, he's just trying to play 
his idiotic audience of like conspiracy theorists morons. So he can't say that there was an election fraud, obviously. The State Department, the CIA, and uh, you know the State Joe Department, Biden himself the CIA, were very happy with the prospects and of Joe Blue Biden serving himself. as president over the prospects of Bolsonaro serving as president again. Now I this guy is just a fucking moron. The only reason why the U.S. has stopped backing Bolsonaro, who they have factually backed from the very beginning, who they factually assisted to get into office in the first place by putting Lula into jail with. That deal, because Obama and Trump's Department of Justice backed Operation Car Wash, which was just so transparently an anti-left lawfare operation designed to attack the left in Brazil. And it did that amazingly. It resulted in a, you know, one coup against Dilma. And then it resulted in um, Lula getting put in jail, clearing Bolsonaro's way to the presidency. The only reason that the U.S., has now turned against Bolsonaro is because of all of this optically unviable shit that he's been doing for them. So someone like Jackson Hinkle is too fucking dumb to think about that, isn't he? He's too fucking stupid to think about, well, how the fuck could they possibly keep backing Bolsonaro with all the shit that he's been saying, all the fucking ridiculous shit that he and his supporters have been doing, and have it even remain remotely viable? They have to keep up appearances, and the only way for them to do that is to like be like, okay, we'll, cu we'll cut this guy loose now, and we'll just we'll just back his um his replacement six months or a year down the line and start subverting the center left in Brazil again. Obviously, but Jackson Ingles like um the CIA, Deep State, Joe Biden, they love Lula. Oh oh, I'm not any particular fan of Bolsonaro or of Lula. What um. I think the Lula of maybe uh, eight, ten years ago was better, but this Lula... What changed? It's it's a different Lula. It's a new era. There's He's literally exactly the same. Nothing about him has changed at all. What are you talking about? Changes afoot, and I could talk about those, but I'm not going to right now. I've heard the... He could talk about those. He could present evidence, but he's not going to. ...those out in the past. But what I can tell you is that uh, there there's multiple possibilities here. Either A, this is a real uprising and people are actually, you know, taking over these buildings. B, this is some sort of a intelligence hatched operation and it's it's astroturf to a certain extent. Uh, C, what reason would there be? What 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 possible reason would there would there need to be to do that? Lula's already in power. Like, what possible reason would there be for an intelligence operation to have like a bunch of dipshits trash the capital? This is. Um, what was my, what were the other things I was going to say? This is an effort. This is, this is maybe a mixed operation. It's real and it's astroturfed, but this is being. This guy just like, he just makes shit up. I, I, like, I honestly, like the level of confidence that it takes to admit that you just don't know what you're talking about and then go ahead and just straight up invent shit wholesale, wholesale, like the wildest conclusion you could ever possibly draw. Just come up with them on the spot. Honestly, I have respect for this. This is like, this is a good grift. This is a good way to make money. You don't need to think, you just go live and just say whatever the fuck comes to mind. Like, um, this is a deep state operation. Um, could be this, could be that. Now, I don't know what I'm talking about, oh, but I will say, consuming. it could be this, it could be that. It, it could be like, you know, it could be like the fucking Navy SEAL spec ops coming in here to do an, to do a false flag operation against the, the legitimate government of Brazil led by Jair Bolsonaro, my president. Amazing. Done to try and consolidate power in Lula's government to a more globalist aligned position. To a more globalist aligned position. To try and consolidate power in Lula's government to a more globalist aligned position. What the fuck does that mean? Why does Lula need to consolidate power? He's already the president. What power does he need to consolidate exactly? What are you talking about? What exactly do you think is happening as a result of this to help him consolidate power in a globalist alliance position? Let us know. Uh, th those are the those are the main uh, things I can see here. Uh, those or, are the main things you can see here. You show us what you see. Or it's a, again, or actually, option A. It's it's these people are just actually upset and they want to Lula out of power. I don't know, but um, what I can show you is that. Lula did make some very suspect decisions when he first took over power. So Lula da Silva recruited members of George Soros' open society for his government. And it wasn't just anybody that's... Let's look at this article. Let's check out this epic article. I'm sure it's great. Lula da Silva's possible government in the event that the irregularities in the past electoral process are legitimized. So right off the bat, someone claiming that Lula winning was a fraud. Stop the steal. Great source man has begun to define its main names in the transition team. Two international nominations should be highlighted. 
namely Pedro Abramove and Monica Valente. The first, which represents globalist forces and radical progressive politics, and the second, identified with the values of the Sao Paulo Forum, communism and socialism. Isn't he supposed to be a communist? Now, if you don't know what the forward of Sao Paulo is, it's like, just like a, it's like a, um, a center-left Latin American think tank, basically, um, that is aligned with like the pink tide sort of it was like came to being with the pink tide in latin america still exists today and um there's like massive conspiracy theories in latin america that like the the, the sao paulo forum is like some sort of like it's it's like a masonic style style thing where like the sao paulo forum is secretly pulling the strings of everyone in the world behind the scenes to to do communism and socialism in latin america so right what we have here is like a idiotic far right made up bullshit conspiracy theory blog and um the first guy they're talking about i know this name i think this was um lula's justice minister 12 years ago so um in his original his first government he was the secretary of justice while lula was the president in 20, 2011. hey Hey, Jackson, didn't you say that you liked Lula in 20, in his previous government? And now your problem is that um, apparently, according to this article, which I'm not even going to look up because I don't care if this guy was in the transition team or not, that Lula recruited someone who he had previously worked with in his previous government that you yourself said was good to work with him in his new government. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Lula da Silva uh, got together. So Lula da Silva chose multiple people from the Open Societies Foundation, but in p particular for his transition government, he chose that the position of foreign minister that oversees, you know, all foreign relations, BRICS, China, Russia, war in Ukraine, all this stuff that would be giving comment and strategy. What? And the Brazilian foreign ministry oversees the war in Ukraine. I didn't know that, but it's good to know now. Uh, you know, political advice to Lula on all of this stuff and making decisions about all do, this do stuff. Do you think before. Lula needs... He was the leader of George Soros' Open Society. Do you think Lula needs advice on foreign policy? He's foundation for Latin America for several years. So this guy is as glowy, as globalist, the CIA as it gets. So wait, because... So after he was um, the Minister of Justice in um, Lula's government, he, he took a job at the Open Society Foundation. That means he is as glowy, as globalist, as CIA as it gets. And he's also not the foreign minister. He, he's not a part of this government. The foreign minister of Brazil is someone completely different. It's this guy. He was the foreign minister under Dilma, Lula's successor. So what the fuck are you talking about? He's making shit up. He's making shit up based on like a far right fucking random QAnon style conspiracy article that also denounces communism and socialism. This is incoherent. My 14-year-old friend, this makes no sense and at all. And Lula da Silva chose him to be his foreign minister in the transition government, okay? But let's take a look at this because that means absolutely nothing. Again, this could mean... Not only does it mean nothing, it's just made up. Maybe you should scroll... Like, let's scroll down to the rest of the article. Let's see what else he's citing. It just talks about the globalist agenda. So the pro among the agendas promoted by the Open Society are alarmist and progressive environmentalism and radical identity agendas. Like, the problem that they have with it isn't the neoliberalism, it's the environmentalism and the radical identity agendas. And then the very, on the very next fucking line, they complain about an, a fucking indigenous rights group. This is straight up like a far-right fucking Fox News-style conspiracy um, article. And this is the only source that he cites here. He cites, like, the first paragraph, the first two paragraphs, and he claims that this guy is the foreign minister. When he's not the foreign minister, he's not even a part of this government at all. He was the justice minister 12 years ago, and that's his evidence that Lula has been co-opted by the CIA, glowy, open society, George Soros agenda, even though Lula's, Lula's platform is exactly the same as it's always been. Amazing. This could mean it's funny like, the, how they come up with this shit, because Bolsonaro is, was, and always has been the candidate of neoliberalism, which is basically... What these people use globalism as, a, as like a, a dog whistle for, because I guess they're not allowed to say neoliberalism because they like capitalism. Like, <laughs> it just, it makes no fucking sense at all. If you want the candidate of globalism, look at Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro, who supported like rabid free marketism in, in Brazil to the detriment of its own population for the benefit of US corporations. That is globalism. It's not fucking Lula who wants to do the, basically like as far as the opposite of that as he can get away with. Give me a fucking nothing. Break. It could mean that people are actually uprising against him. It could mean that- uh, It could mean anything. It could mean all of the- maybe Globalist forces. That there's not enough control of Lula. The globalist forces, you know, they just want to control Lula with his foreign minister, who's not his foreign minister. They just want to control him with this foreign minister that I invented, who's not actually his foreign minister. And he was also already in his government 
12 years ago, his government that I said that I liked, they went, they, you know, the, the, the globalist forces, the open society, George Soros. Holy shit. He's literally a child. And they want to pressure him into putting more establishment, glowy globalist picks in his government. You know, I, I have no idea, but let's just take a look at first what Glenn Greenwald had. Establishment, glowy globalist picks. Like Jair Bolsonaro, who is literally handpicked by like what is an actual deep state. Like the judicial deep state, as what the, the actual meaning of deep state is, like people who are always there in the background, operating politically against the left, did everything they can to foment a coup against Dilma and then to put Lula in jail and get Bolsonaro elected in the first place. That is an actual deep state. Jesus. I to say about the situation today uh, because it is really crazy. So breaking news, pro-Bolsonaro protesters have invaded the National Congress, the Senate building, also outside of the presidential palace. News is very, uh, news is very breaking. Hard to know how many are there. Uh, Lula is not in Brasilia, but in Sao Paulo due to heavy storms there. OK, these uh, pictures give a bit of a clearer picture as to how many protesters are on the roof of the congressional building. You can see more images like this on CNN Brazil. So that's an ungodly amount of people. Also, now images and reports that protesters have, in addition to entering the Congress, also broke doors and windows to enter the Supreme Court building, a major source of anger for pro-Bolsonaro supporters, as well as the presidential palace. Remember that Jair Bolsonaro himself left Brazil in the last- I, This entire time, Bolsonaro is just in Florida getting like a stomach bug from eating too much KFC. God. Last day of his presidency for the United States, where he is living in the house of an ex-MMA fighter in Orlando. I'm actually not sure who that is, but I would have to imagine Oh, who cares? Has commented is. very little since the election on anything in Brazil. Lula now giving a nationally televised press conference about the invasions of three branches of government in Brasilia, calling them fascists, warning that all with pay under force, all, all will, will pay uh, under the force of law. Announced he signed a decree ordering Yikes. federal forces to restore order, and you can see that right here. So Lula declared security intervention in Brazil, uh, in Brasilia, in Brasilia, the capital, after Bolsonarista riots. Lula called out the rioters, fascists, fanatics, and said that they would be punished with the full force of the law. The federal intervention in Brasilia will last until January 31st. He added in a speech. Okay. Um, Brazilian authorities have secured control of all government buildings. That was five hours ago. At least 170 people are arrested, though that number is certain to rise. No reports of deaths, but widespread po property destruction. Is, is it, so is, is this his, is this what he does? He just like reads off tweets and then like says, I don't know. It could be, it could be all of this shit I made up. Again, I don't know. And basically like a trick that you play to like um, appeal to an idiot conspiracy brained audience where like, with no like plausible reason to suspect something, no evidence for it or anything. You just say like, look, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here, but here's like five different possibilities and like one or two of them make sense. And then there's like the rest of them that are just like completely off the wall. Like how would you even throw that in there? It's like, look, I don't know what happened here. It could just be like a bunch of far right fascist people who organize on Facebook to organize a protest, you know, between them naturally, whatever. It could also, you know, they, they could have some backing from like, um, you know, right wing um, bourgeois or something there. Who knows? Or it could also be like um, they were beamed in by the same aliens, the ancient the ancient space aliens who created the pyramids back in 3000 BC. They could have been beamed directly into Brasilia in order to in order to like um, delegitimize Bolsonaro on behalf of George Soros Open Society Foundation Glowy CIA. You never know which one it could be, right? Like it could be one of those totally plausible scenarios, or it could be. Um, ancient Egyptian space aliens on behalf of George Soros CIA Glowy. You never know. You never know, man. The globalist alien forces. Who, who knows? Honestly, it could be anything. Inside Supreme Court and presidential palace has been reported. One of the questions is the extent of the involvement of political and security officials in the federal district. Lula's office itself couldn't be reached because of special security doors. But here is uh, destruction of his cabinet area in the presidential palace. OK, so there you see uh, just completely ransacked. This was in the uh, presidential home, the palace. Uh, the residence of President Brazil has been captured by supporters of the former head of the state. Lula has been evacuated to a secure location earlier today. The building of the federal Supreme Court was also taken over. <laughs> okay, give, us some, give us your opinion. Oh, here we go, the deep state. On the presidential palace. But I want to show you this too, because this is also interesting. Now, Bernie Sanders is obviously a deep state uh, globalist pawn. Uh, he just doesn't, he doesn't need to prove anything that he says. He can just toss out the buzzwords and they're like, yep, deep state globalist Taylor pawn. Hansen put this up. He said, this is your reminder that Bernie Sanders leaked that the CIA has been in Brazil for months. I'm sure that this is all completely organic though. So um, listen to this right here. Biden administration, before we talk about the relationships uh, with progressive governments, they have, and I think in an unusual way, uh, you know, sent the CIA and sent the Secretary of Defense down to Brazil yeah. uh, over the last several months to make it clear uh, that they did not want to see a rigged election or a coup. 
Now, it's just so fucking funny because, you know, they send them there on behalf of the US government to interact with who? Who exactly? Who was in power in Brazil? Who was in power in Brazil then? Was it Bolsonaro? Yes, it was Bolsonaro. Do you know why these people meet with Bolsonaro? Do you know why they always meet with the right wing in these countries and never the left or anything is remotely like that? Because they're on their side. Because they talk strategy with them. They talk, okay, so we'll support you if you do this, we won't support you if you do this. And obviously they were telling Bolsonaro, hey man, because of what happened in our country on January 6th, because of how much we've been playing that up ever since then, we can't have you do anything like that and still support you. So, you know, maybe play it down a little bit. It's so fucking obvious. You just need to use, like, basic logic to think about these things for two seconds. Like, does he think that, like, they sent, like, random CIA agents to do, like, espionage in Brazil, then openly announced it? This is the USA interacting with governments that have been on their side to tell them, hey, stop doing this dumb shit that is compromising our ability to support you. It wasn't leaked or anything. They're not meeting with the left wing to conspire against Bolsonaro. They are meeting with Bolsonaro, the guy on their team, to tell him how and what to do. Yeah, the guy arrived in Brasilia six months after the January 6th assault on the Capitol. This happened years ago. Years and years ago. Years and Even like before the, the, there was any like um, talk of the 2022 Brazilian elections, anything like that. Obviously, because the Democrats in the US can't tenably, optically support someone who sounds like fucking um, the Republicans in the USA. So they need him to shut the fuck up about that shit so that they can keep backing him. But he didn't. Like, Jackson Hinkle is the dumbest motherfucker in the world. He just points at things and says, CIA, CIA, global, deep state globalist. I, again, I have no idea. I have no idea, no idea, no idea, no idea. But you just said you have no idea. What was that? Six times? But I'm going to talk like I do. If anyway. I were a betting man and I were to put a bet down, let me read one more thing for you before I actually say what I think is maybe happening. Bolsonaro response to Brazil riot charges. Former president said that peaceful demonstrations are part of democracy. Former Brazilian leader Jair Bolsonaro has denied any responsibility for the unrest that unfolded in the capital. You know what's happening with Bolsonaro is that he's basically realized that he is politically dead and he's decided that he's just going to go to Florida and try to live the life of like the average rich Latin American um, fascist exile while trying to, knowing that the US probably isn't going to extradite him if Brazil charges him for anything because they never do so obviously hinkle's going to try to spin that into some From sort Brazilia of globalist deep state after conspiracy. president luis inacio lula da silva accused his right-wing predecessor of filling the heads of his supporters with extremism peaceful demonstrations in the form of the law are part of democracy however uh depredations and invasions of public buildings come on come on lula these people don't need bolsonaro to fill their heads with extremism these are like the rich upper middle class at minimum mostly white people who just don't like the fact that poor people might be able to do things that they do if you give them a tiny little bit of welfare. That's what these people hate. As occurred today, as well as those practiced by the theft in 2013 and 17, escape the rule. So, he's basically saying it's illegal, whatever. Um, if I were a betting man, and I'm not, and I, I, have, I know nothing, I know nothing, I know oh, nothing. Wow, he said that 15 I, times in the last minute. I know nothing. But I would have to say this is either, this is either a legitimate uprising of the people. and A legitimate uprising of the people? A, a 1,500 people? Storming an empty building, a bunch of empty buildings, that's the people to you? Anything can be the people to you, dude. Holy shit. People are going to be prosecuted as a result of, you know, storming these buildings and vandalizing the buildings and ransacking offices in the presidential palace and the Supreme Court. Or, or, this is probably without even Lula's knowledge being done covertly in an astroturfed manner to try and pressure Lula into a position. Probably... How would this pressure Lula into a position of anything? How would this pressure him in any way shape or form it's made it's like an embarrassment for everyone on the other side how is this pressuring him at all if anything this has been good for him you know unconsciously he is not aware of any sort of turfing if this is the case uh to put more u.s aligned deep state officials how how uh within his administration I mean, I mean, the one person you were identified in this administration as a U.S. aligned deep state official wasn't actually the per wasn't actually. You said he was the foreign minister. He's not. He's not. He's not. A, he's not even involved. Okay, the U.S. is probably coming to him and saying right now, despite whether or not this is astroturfed or not, and saying, uh, "Well, you know, uh, this is really scary. You know, you should put some more people from the Open Society Foundation in your government. They'll help secure your rule of power." Or, you know, you create a stronger coalition with the establishment. Who's the establishment? Who are you talking about? What the fuck? You know, um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Who's the establishment if it's not everyone who loves Bolsonaro?
know, we do know that the riots have been suppressed already. Um, but I don't know. No one died. Uh, lots of arrests. Uh, Shame. Uh, I again, if I were a betting man, I'm not. I have no idea. I'm not at all, you know, hellbent and I'm w willing to die on this hill. But I would say that I would not be surprised if, in parts, this was astroturf. And I would not be surprised if it was this shit that I have absolutely no reason to suspect. Not here. There's no historical backing for any of this. There's no evidence for it. There's no reason to suspect it at all because obviously the U.S. has backed the right wing in Brazil forever, and they backed Bolsonaro. They got him into power in the first place. And, and obviously Lula is not aligned with their economic goals in Brazil, which is what they care about in regards to their foreign policy. But still, somehow, if he was a betting man, he would go with the only possible losing bet. The United you should stick to not being a betting man, my friend. Holy fuck. States is using this to secure more deep state pawns within the Lula government because they already have the foreign minister. Who's they the don't have the foreign minister! He, the Holy the shit. former head of the Latin American Open Societies Foundation, and they probably want more, and Lula was probably not willing to give up more. Oh my God. And this might be something that would uh, be used as a... Yeah, this is what happened, okay? So Lula secretly met with the CIA when they were in, um, when he was like in jail, when they came to visit Bol Bolsonaro, he met with the CIA and they were like, Lula, Lula, we're going to have you win the 2022 election, but you have to have, you have to put this Open Society Foundation guy in, in your foreign minister position. And he's like, which Open Society Foundation guy? Do you remember your justice minister? Yeah, 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 of course I do. Well, he's, he's our guy. We need him to be your foreign minister. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to appoint someone else as my foreign minister. I guess that's what happened. I guess. Well, who knows, man? Leverage over Lula's head. I have no idea, though. Only time will tell. Or maybe it won't and we'll never know. But um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the live chat. Let me know in the comments what you think about the situation that's unfolding in Brazil. Wow, that was, Share this video. That was um, impressive, impressingly stupid and bad. I do, I, do, I do appreciate the fact that he at least announces that he's just making shit up and he has no fucking idea what he's talking about. That is a refreshing change from the average streamer, but um, I gotta say, um, the, the, like, just call everything glowy, deep state, globalist or whatever with no backing whatsoever, that's, um, that's a, a good grift, a very easy one to, you know, making money like that is very solid. Good on him. He's, the man's like, he's like 14 years old and this is what I would call a true entrepreneur, making the bank, you know. If his parents didn't hate him and want a strange from him, he could probably buy them a house.